Hello, hi, my name is Brother McGill, but some call me Terry McGill. And we're back with uh, another lesson of Words with Comfort. I know we had to stop for a little bit because other things we was doing, we was teaching uh, how the Holy Spirit actually dwell in us, but we had to stop due to coronavirus and what's really taking place right now and what's going on, so we had to stop. So we just bring, so I've been bringing you Words with Comfort and try to comfort everybody through this terrible time that we're going through, this evilness, this hatred, and this backbiting, all this death, and all this violence, all the things that's going on right now in this world. So that's why we bring you the words of comfort. But before I begin, I'd like to say uh, thanks for those who are here. I'd also like to uh, uh, say thanks for those out there who listen on YouTube, or those who read my articles I write and put them in grocery stores or the stations, and they read them. I pray to God that it leads you to the word of God. I just want to thank everybody who really, really, really out there, really putting their trust in God. Don't ever stop doing that. Keep on following God, no matter what goes on, no matter what happens, no matter if people out here trying to hinder you, or when people out here say this or say that or say that, you keep on following Christ, no matter what, no matter what. Anybody have any questions before I uh, begin? I'm going to no. open the word of prayer first, and then we'll begin. Heavenly Father, and Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, once again we come to you, dear Lord, thank you for so much that you have done for us, dear Lord, and do for us, dear Lord. We thank you for the being our life. We pray, dear Lord, that we can keep on being a proud fight soldier of your word and keep on doing things yes, that all are set up by pleasing in your sight. Yes. We thank you, dear Lord, for the roof you put up upon the head, dear Lord, told you gave us the yes. pearl of back shoes or a feet that also, we thank you, dear Lord, the food that we eat for a nurse to our body, dear Lord. We yes, thank you Lord. so much for all these things. And right now, so many people are going through a terrible time. They're going yes, through a terrible Lord. time of salvation. They don't have, people don't have no jobs. So much loss of life that yes. happened out here, dear Lord, because of the fire. So many people out here yes, had turned from you, dear Lord, and, and fallen in this world. So many people out here doing so many things that's not of you, dear Lord. And I'm not just making this up. All the thing I do is read and look at the news. Dear Lord, I pray for all of them, dear Lord, that they never give up on you, Father God. I pray, Father God, you help them in bad times and bless them in good times. I feel so bad and so sorry for those out here who have lost love of the of the fire, dear Lord. But I pray, Father God, that they stay strong, dear Lord, and have to be an eye opener for them, dear Lord. Have to understand that one yes. day you're going to die, and we got to make sure we are prepared when you call us home or for your coming, Father God. Yes, Lord. We thank you for so much of what you have done for us, dear Lord. No matter what happens in this world, dear Lord, we know. And we keep on following you and doing the things you have us to do, dear Lord. We will make our election sure come just for that, dear Lord, because you're the ultimate judge. Not no one else, but you are the ultimate judge. We got to make yes, sure we Lord. please you and not this world. Mm -hmm. Father God, we just thank you for so much, dear Lord. And we go into the lesson. We pray you give us more knowledge of you and wisdom of your words so we keep on following you, dear Lord. This will help keep us strong, dear Lord, when Satan comes around with all his wives and trying to handle yes. us, dear Lord. Mm -hmm. Lord, so please keep watching over us all, protect us all, keep us safe, dear Lord, through this terrible virus that's going on, dear Lord, we pray, dear Lord, we know things must have to happen, but we pray, dear Lord, that it's your will, dear Lord, you help us all, dear Lord, this terrible time that we're going through. And Father God, we just uh, pray these prayers to you and your divine, holy, almighty, wonderful, and beautiful name. Thank you for everything, no matter it rains or the just and the unjust, we will thank you each and every day for all that you do for us. Dear Lord. Yes, Lord. In your divine, holy name. Thank you, Father God. Amen. 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 Thank you. And that's the truth, God. Don't ever give up. I can't get enough of saying that either. Don't ever give up because he's saying he'll do certain things out here to have you to want to turn your back on God. Trust me. I know. To turn your back on God and start following this world. I know that's what Satan does. He's trying to hinder you to where you can't Thinking your, he's thinking your mind, I should go out here, I should go out here and start sinning again. Forget it, I cannot do this. That's what Satan want us to do. Trust me. And trust me, a lot of people have turned away from God and so went back out here and started sinning. And what Satan wants, he is a prince of this world. Yes. And the only thing he wants is your eternal soul. So please don't be deceived. Yes. Don't ever give up on God. Don't ever give up on God, no matter what. Don't ever. It's just love straight from my heart. Don't ever give up yes. on God. And trust me, I'm in that boat too. You know, I, sometimes Satan comes after me, but I keep strong through God's word. 
he tried to hinder me too. I'm not without fault. He tries to hinder me too, but I stay strong by God's word. And without God's word, I cannot stay strong. I mean, I'm here in this world again. I've been there. But through God's word, it keeps me strong. So brothers and sisters out there, please stay focused because of God's word. We have started for lesson one. This is, the, I think, the 17th video. Lesson one says, what faith did God really mean? Please start from there. If you're watching this, start from there. And all the way to the uh, end of this lesson. Uh, to lesson 17, excuse me, lesson 17. Please start from there and, and study God's word. Because the scriptures are right on the board. And if you really care about your eternal soul, please do that. I plead with you to do that. Don't be yes. hindered by Satan. Yes. Please do that. Now, because before I begin, all people, because I, I write it down because I forget. All people of color out here, colors out here, have uprised and acting a fool. All people of colors, and while I write it down, because I know I forget, but all people of colors have uprised and it's, it's going berserk and acting a fool. We got some verses right here. Hopefully, it will give you some words of comfort to talk to your loved ones, to talk or keep you strong, and, and keep everyone you love and care for strong too. Uh, we are turning to read to James chapter 2 and verse 19. That is James chapter 2. For those out there, James chapter 2, verse 19. That is James chapter 2 and verse 19. Once again, that is James chapter 2, verse 19. We all have it. Will somebody read that for me, please? Yes, I will. Thy believest that there is one God. Thy does well, the devil also believe and, tem and tremble. Yes, he does. And see, if you believe there's only one God, you know, like you do up, you do it well, you believe that. You do well. The devils, mm -hmm. the reason why I call them devils because if you got, it's only one God is a spirit. It's only one God. It's only one spirit. You know, like if you got God, if you got a uh, 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 spirit, God, spirit of God in you. You got God in you. Now, there's a lot of antichrists out here. So if you got the spirit of devil in you, the devil all out here. You know, like there's a lot of devil spirits of devil running around here. That's why I call it devil. I think I do the uh, read the gospels. You know, like Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. It, it have you understand what that why they call it the devil? If it's, it's a lot of spirits of the devil. We're running around here. So if you got the devil in you, trust me, I got a spirit of the devil in me. A lot of you got a spirit of the devil in you. At one point, I had a spirit of the devil in me, right? A lot of you got a spirit of the devil in That's why I say that. But if you believe there's only one guy, you do it well. The devils believe it too. The spirit of the devils believe it too. They know that. And they trample. Right here will keep you strong and have you trembling. You know, like, keep you strong. Stay in fear of the Lord. It will. Because you know God 100% will. He opened your eyes up by the word. He will. Anybody have a question with that? No. Okay. Turn with me to 2 Peter. That is 2 Peter. Chapter 3. At verse 1 through 9. That is 2 Peter. Chapter 3. At verse one through nine. Once again, that is Second Peter, chapter three. One through nine. And before I uh, go there, how many God, God's all there? That voice right here. How many God's all there? One. Only one, one, one God. Only one God. Right. A lot of people say hey, this. <laughs> it's so much fake talk. It's I. It's so much stuff spread. God. It's so much stuff spread on the internet out here. But that oh. it's so much stuff. It's this fake stuff. I, I like. Man, I cannot believe. And I hope people don't fall for this stuff. But Jesus Christ said, many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. Many false prophets shall arise. Jesus Christ said, and shall deceive many. You know, I, God, they all they all on this internet and deceive a lot of people. I see guys, I'll be like, man, I hope you ain't being deceived by it. You know, I, don't be deceived by me. Stay in the word of God. The scriptures are right here. Don't be, let me deceive you, including me. Don't let me deceive you. The scriptures are right here. Okay. That is 
Second Peter chapter 3, 1 through 9. We all have it? Yes. And it reads, This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that that ye may, uh, may be mindful of the word which was spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this, first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, scoffers, scoffers thank you, walking and uh, walking uh, after their own lusts, mm. and saying, Where is the promise of the coming? For since the father fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. But this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth stood out of the water, and in the water, whereby the word, the, excuse me, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and prediction of a godly man. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, and so might count cyclists, but it's long suffering to us were not one that anyone any, any should perish, excuse me, but uh, that all should come to repentance. So that means what? Don't ever give up, mm -hmm. oh God. Ain't a lot of people out here gonna say certain things out here about God is God and God and God and God and God and God and God. Because in the last day, what what you say? Scoffers should come the first Scoffers mm -hmm. should come. Right? Mm -hmm. So where's the promise of the Father? Since he had fell asleep, right? Mm -hmm. In the last day, people forget all about God. They can say, forget about him, right? Yeah, don't give up on because he ain't going to give up on us. Don't give up on God, no matter mm -hmm. what. You're right. Don't ever give up on God. We're going to be people out here who are going to try to brainwash you, mm -hmm. to have you to follow their way, mm -hmm. their way of living, thinking. Mm -hmm. That's what this world is about now. It's full of evil out here. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Or to trust a person. Mm -hmm. People out here try to get over you. Mm -hmm. People out here, I mean, uh, I mean, look dead, smack your face, get lie to you. Mm -hmm. hey, I mean, people out here do do a thing. They know it's not right. They follow. They know they're not following. They know it's not right. Mm -hmm. They still do it. God, this world, this, 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 this. Satan have got people turned from. Uh, excuse me. Some people. I'm sorry. Turned from the word of God to this world. So I'm here to yes. tell you, stay strong. Yes. Yes. A thousand years is like a day to God. Mm. How did it say that? Did I'm saying that right? Mm -hmm. He said yeah, a he thousand said, years is like a day to God. A thousand years and a thousand years as one day. A thousand years is like one day. Lord, Lord, it's a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. Don't ever give up. Don't ever give up. Because once you get to the heaven and the hell for a reason. And once you give up, Satan got you for eternity. You're right, brother. Once you give up, Satan got you. Yes. I got one. I got another one. I got another one. I got another one, right? Because mm -hmm. as we do love comfort. Mm -hmm. I promise you that. Mm -hmm. Look at uh, Gospel of John. Anybody have a question with that before we go further? Let no. me open it up. And once again, uh, verse 2. Should, should I give up on God? No. no. Okay. I got Gospel of John chapter two. Oh, go ahead. Oh, I just want to say, like the people that turn away from God, or, yeah. you know, especially with this coronavirus going around, mm -hmm. they're like, "Well, if it's a God, why are you letting all this happen?" Mm -hmm. So if they read their Bible, they know it must come to pass. Yeah. <laughs> so that's it. They, 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 that's what I said. They don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna talk about God. They're gonna hate God's people who actually mm -hmm. follow their God. They're gonna hate God's people. And the Bible says, "That's Lord." I think it's First Thessalonians chapter four, verse eight. You know it. If you hate no, if you hate no, uh, 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 me, you already hate no God. Yeah. God gave, them, uh, gave us His Holy Spirit. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
They would hate though you got where you carry your set the way you walk, where you I know it, you carry so you follow God. And they're gonna be handicapping one. They can't get their life together with the Father mm -hmm. God. They don't want to get their life together. Yeah, they keep right. on wanting to do the exact same thing. Each and every day, I want people to live this way, live this way, live right. this way, live this way. They don't want to come to God. Mm -hmm. They sit back and, and watch you. They sit back and watch you. They want to pull you in with them. Yeah, that's it. Well, if they can't, they wait and see you make And talk mistake. about you like a dog. And yeah, but you're right. Sit back and wait and see them make a mistake. Mm -hmm. When you're yeah. going to catch it, right? You make right. one little mistake. Try, 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 try. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Try, try to catch it. Try to catch it. I'm catch it. I'm going to catch it. Okay, no, right? What kind of place is that? Mm. Yeah. Right? You should be worried about your own soul. Yeah. Thank you. But that's not this. That, but you, you got people in church like that, too. Yeah. Hey, out there yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Right? The devil's yeah. everywhere. That's why you got to follow Churches on the streets, family everywhere. <laughs> the churches everywhere. Sure is. Sure is. Yes. Everywhere, right? some, some of your biggest devils in churches. Yeah. yeah. Everywhere. Jealous, just like people on the street. Well, I said, well, I, I can't agree with you. One thing, one, uh, one about that, the big thing that you said about that, uh, they, they said churches because people, our church is not teaching this. You know, right? Thank you. The Bible clearly tells us it's going to be Satan ministers out here, right? Who, the Bible clearly tells us that. It's going to be Satan up there preaching. All right? His ministers going to be out there deceiving people. Mm -hmm. But people, people don't want to take the time out. Right? You can't Some people don't want to take the time out to follow this. Mm -hmm. you, you can't be deceived if you're reading the Bible. Hey, okay. mm -hmm. so just take the time out. I want to know God for myself. Mm -hmm. I got time to do this. I got time to do that. I got time to hang out with my friend. I got time. To, I got to worry about my job. This. I got to do this, do that. But take time out for the Lord. Mm -hmm. This is your turn of salvation. You ain't gonna be here forever. The, J the book of James tells we only. Book of James tells us we only here for a favor anyway. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna be here forever. So take some you better take time out to go God. So you can have eternal life. God that's a, a, a second Thessalonians chapter one and verse seven said Jesus is gonna take uh, take uh Jesus gonna take visits of those who do not know God with everlasting destruction mm -hmm. and punishment. All right? Mm -hmm. He's gonna take visits. You better take time out. You said you worry about anything else out here. Mm -hmm. You better worry about God and find and know God. Let nobody deceive you. Amen, I'm sorry. Brother. Amen, bro. Look at John chapter 3, verse 16 through 20. And I said I was about way up here. And coming up here. And this guy, they outside having church. This guy said, all and all. He ain't uh he ain't missing nothing about the gospel. In the name of Jesus. But one, people know what the name of Jesus means. And for two, some people know what the name of Jesus means. I ain't say all people, some people don't know what that means. And for two, he all had that person saying this, saying that, saying that, saying that. I was by my car waiting. Before I come up here, see what he said. What's he, he's so loud. See what he's saying. I'm like, oh, come on now. I was like, people sit there and listen to that. Okay, you follow it in. Because I promise you, if I was there, if I follow this, I ain't going to try to be rude and like that. But more than likely, I'm, I'm going to believe it. You know, like, mm -hmm. I ain't going to be rude. I'll try when you stop fixing like that. Then I'm, I'm boop, I'm out the door. Right? I don't want to hear that. Because I say the Bible. Uh, uh, God's sheep is not gonna follow no like, mm -hmm. anybody, basically anybody's voice. Mm -hmm. Trust me, God's sheep is not gonna and, follow and that. Then, and God's sheep knows the difference. If you yeah. preach the right time, you to go. Yeah, time to go. God, He knows the difference. He knows He knows the difference. No, no, that's not that's not right. Okay, we got John chapter uh, three. John chapter three. Gospel of John. Gospel of John. Yes. At chapter 3, verse 16. We all have it? Mm -hmm. That is Gospel of John, chapter 3, 16 through 20. That's Gospel of John, chapter 16 well, like through this. 20. I like this. Yeah. We all have it? Yes. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, For God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he, who loved the world? God. God. That he had gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I yeah. said something real fast. Whoever believes in him. First Thessalonians 2 Thessalonians 2.13 tells us the word of God works with those that believe. <laughs> Come on. First Thessalonians 2.13 tells us the word of God works with those that believe. So how can I believe on Jesus Christ? That's it. Mm. But you don't hear this, I don't hear this preacher like that. <laughs> First Thessalonians will tell you that the word of God works with those that believe. What did Jesus Christ, what did uh, Jesus say right here? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. How believe in him? The word of God watcheth those that believe that Jesus Christ is the word of God. Mm -hmm. And that 
It's the name of Jesus, the word of God. Jesus' name is the word of God. Okay. Verse 17. For God sent his uh, uh, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Mm -hmm. He that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son. What's his name? The Word of God. Do you believe in the Word of God? Because the Word became flesh. That's his name. Trust me, I can do another, I can do another lesson. I'm going to another lesson. Hopefully I can bring that to you, what his name is. No, his name is the Word of God. Jesus Christ, his name is the Word of God. Okay. Verse 19. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. See, a lot of people want to go here and stay out here in this world because what, they want to come to the light of the glory of the gospel of Christ, like it says right here, the light of the glory of the gospel of Christ. They want to stay out here in this world because why the world and do the evil things that they do. They love the evil things that they do. They like all the... The ref ref, the the uh, uh, acting of fool, the cursing, tearing up stuff, doing evil things out here. What Satan wants them to do, they love this, the backbiting, hanging, they love lying, they love all this stuff. Yeah, amen. They get it to like, they, they, I mean, they, they, they get up in the morning, they can't wait to get on Facebook to see what they can say on Facebook so they can do what? Keep things going. Keep it going. Right? They can't wait for that. Instead of just I, for one, I just sit on Facebook. Uh, Five something what six years, seven years ago? So I know you get hooked to that, right? And I thank God seven years ago I got off of that. I had a suffer, but I got off of that. But about three or four days that suffering went away. I ain't thinking about that no more. Alright? But yes, yeah, so if people sit back and can't wait to uh, see think how they could uh cause mischief. Mm -hmm. They can't wait to uh, they can't wait to see that. They can't wait to do that, right? Okay, where are we at? For mm -hmm. everyone that doeth evil hated the light, this is the light of glory gospel of Christ. Neither come to the light, least his deeds should be reproved, that means reprimand. Yeah. Verse 21. I mean, that's it? That's it. Yeah. yeah. It's got, it's got, uh, they don't want to come to the light. This is the light mm -hmm. of the glory gospel of Christ. Second, no, Corinthians no, 4, they think, they 1 through 6. No excitement in the light. Right. <laughs> Second, Corinthians mm -hmm. 4, 1 through 6. The light of the glory of gospel of Christ. They don't want to come to the light. This is what changed the life of Christ. Some people don't want to change at all. I, mean, I like being an alcoholic. I like being a doctor. I like being a doctor. I like being a liar. I like being a bag. I like this man. You don't change my life around. They don't understand how good it feels. Thank you. With God, it's, 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 it's a good feeling. Man, I don't you, have know, peace. you have peace. You have just everything. You put it all in Him. Hope. And you don't worry about things like you used to. Just, you just happy every day. It's a good feeling. I mean, there were we do come your way. I mean, for what for bad things happen, you know. Like, you can handle it. You, you, yeah, you can handle better than you could back then. You know, right, like. right. You're right. So and I'm still about to work all that myself, you know. Right? Like. Yeah. But, you, but trust me, I way I am a way better person mm -hmm. than I was years ago, and I can handle Amen. certain things now that I couldn't handle back then. Amen. I'm just being honest. Do this, mm -hmm. but I'm drawing in the word of God. I'm drawing. Mm -hmm. He's drawing me. I am simply simply be like some people I have heard that I don't see, I don't make mistakes, I don't do this, I don't do this, I don't do this. I've heard that. And the Bible simply says people say that they don't have the sin. They can't confess they sin. Even the Bible even says that. That they can't confess they sin, right? <laughs> of that gospel John, no, I they say even say that, no, I but I mean I'm sorry, first John, but he was talking about that, you know, right? Uh first John chapter five, I think of uh, first John chapter one, about through five, one through like one through like ten. I get that for we uh, we call. I'm gonna show you that right. But a lot of people don't want to do that. Okay, anybody have a question with that? No sir. Uh, turn me to Second Corinthians six. That Second Corinthians six, fourteen to eighteen. That Second Corinthians six fourteen eighteen. And before I forget, let me get this real fast. I will forget, you know, right? As I get older, I forget. So I get this. Go to First John. Y'all can stay where y'all at though. Y'all go. To, I'm gonna. I'm gonna put the, uh, the viewers out there. Go to First John, uh, chapter uh, one. I will read the whole thing. Chapter one, that First John, First John. chapter one. Oh, you don't have to go there. You can stay where you at. It's for the viewers out there. First John, chapter one. 
and read one through uh, ten. That's First John chapter one, one through ten. But people could not confess their sin. They don't really want to confess their sin because Romans tells us, I think that Romans chapter three verse twenty three, that we all have sinned and fell short of the glory of God. That's Romans chapter three verse twenty three, that we all have sinned and fell short of the glory of God. Okay, uh, uh, so a lot of people don't want to do that. Go to second, that, so let's go to Second Corinthians six fourteen through eighteen. And get there real fast. And once again, for the brothers out there, for those who are here, this is words of comfort. And try to help everyone and like, stay strong in these dark and terrible times that we live in. And don't ever give up. Please don't give up. That's what Satan wants to do. Okay. I'm going to say to with this. And when someone, let me see, like to read that for me. I will. Everybody there? Oh, yes. That's 2 Corinthians 6. 14 through 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 14 through 18. Thank you. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Two for seconds. That's why you don't fool with certain <laughs> people. All right, tell me right there. So you think about what's going on right now to this day. Should I be out there looting and stealing, acting a fool, doing evil stuff? No. That's what Satan wants you to do. The Bible tells us in Ephesians, you get angry but sin, in the book of Ephesians, excuse me, you get angry but sin not. All right? Don't let no one, no one, no one have you out there doing something you know that is not right. Because that's what Satan wants. Satan loves confusion and chaos. He just wants your soul. Please, be smart with coming to your right? Use common sense with coming to your soul. Okay. Please, sister. And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Mm -hmm. Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? So, I'm, I'm going to leave with Christ. What well, should we hang around somebody? Basically, yeah, but why don't we hang around somebody who don't believe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, why don't we hang around somebody who's in darkness? I'm going to be in light. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I can't love and care for you, but I'm not going to be hanging around with you. Do you think what's going on right now? Uh, people of all colors out here doing that's darkness. Yeah, the one, yeah, the one that's doing this stuff. Do all this stuff. Yeah, you can protect them. What's happened was terrible. You do peacefully. You yeah, yeah. You let them burn everybody's stuff down. Yeah, burn, burn some up, break it, steal it. Come on, that's ridiculous. Now you can do it peacefully. Yes, like you said, sister. But all, not just one color. All colors are doing it. Mm -hmm. Right? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's just terrible. That's just sad. And that's what Satan wants. Right? G. Christ said, Anachrony, which is written in the shell of bile, though. And the love of many said, Wax code. Okay, Jake, uh, 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 Sister Gordon, please. Okay, verse 16. Mm -hmm. And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. As God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Yeah. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, said the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and you shall be, be my sons and daughters, said the Lord Almighty. Keep it, keep it chapter 7 for that very first one. Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Verse 2. Receive us. We have wronged no man. We have corrupted no man. We have defrauded no man. I tell you about this. So mm -hmm. Should I be out here doing evil stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Should I be out here acting a fool and doing evil stuff like that? No, I yep. Turn up stuff. Mm -hmm. Come on now. <laughs> that is not of God. That's, that's, that's devil, not of God. Devil. That's of who then? Devil. It's of Satan. Satan. He's that's Satan. But let's say that Satan, Satan know what he's doing. He's he know Lord. how to get to a person and he tried his best to deceive you. And we are all in the last day. He yeah. destroyed us too. We are in the last day. He tried to get all he mm -hmm. can to follow mm -hmm. him. Because the Bible and Revelation mm -hmm. teaching us that Satan, you know, he, he comes down with great wrath because he know he have a short time to mm -hmm. corrupt this world. Mm -hmm. That's what he's doing. Yeah. So don't, I don't care people in power. 
I don't care if people out here who out here who uh, uh, go out here and do certain bad things out here who act a fool, do not follow behind. Don't let them get you to turn from God to their way. But that's what Satan wants. Mm -hmm. They follow the wrong way because once again, a lot of people follow the people with power. They follow the people with power who are not following God. Where do you think they're going? Ain't going. Like me, if I go, if I if I go, if I see my pastor, I mean, I'm about my pastor get jailed before I get jailed. He go to hell. I'm my neck. And, 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 <laughs> you cry the blind in the blind, and both will fall in the ditch. Right? If I see him going to hell, they, I'm, my turn to get jailed. I don't think I'm going. <laughs> well, following the Lord. That person ain't following Christ. You better get away from him. Mm -hmm. That's all I got to say. Anybody? Any more questions? No. With those out there. Well, I know you're alive. I speak the love from the heart. Like it says in the book of Ephesians, I speak it from the heart in love. Grow in God's word, start in the book of Matthew, all the way to Revelation, and keep growing and growing in the New Testament that Jesus Christ brought us so we can make our election sure come judgment day and never give up. I'm not saying I'm nothing wrong with the Old Testament, but we live in the New Testament live in the New Testament Jesus Christ brought us and we got to make sure that we stay in the New Testament and we grow from there and we grow and we grow and we grow and what the Bible tells us is uh, Saint Peter I mean uh, first Peter I actually first Peter second chapter 1 through 2 we need a word to grow we need a word to grow as a child of God so we grow out of sin so don't ever give up on your eternal soul don't ever give up that you might give up a lot of other things out here, but your turn of soul, you should never give up on. I love you. Stay in peace. These are words of comfort. Stay in peace. Be safe. Don't let nothing, nothing turn you from God. I am so sorry for those out there that have lost loved ones. I am so sorry. I'm a terrible virus. For those out here who are struggling, as I know I feel, and struggling because I lost some job. It's so hard out here. But please, Never give up. Uh, got some say, sis? No, I'm just saying that uh, it makes me sick looking at news. Kids killing kids. KKK, kids killing kids. Every time you turn on the news, somebody then killed a baby or a teenager or a young man. I mean, we got to stop killing each other. Start loving. Read the Bible. Start loving each other. The devil is just working. But a lot of stuff that I got to do with my, I mean, a lot of people. Yeah, the devil. It's just Satan. It's all Satan. Satan working. And I'm just down with this, this network. Some people use uh, the internet for the wrong reasons. Well, I'm, Television know, for the wrong you, reasons. They, they yeah. use this stuff. So people see all the stuff that's going on around mm -hmm. this world. So they, what they would do, they want to follow the exact same path. Mm -hmm. and they, they, they use it for the wrong reasons. They use it for the right reasons. See what I'm saying? They take it and use it for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? My, myself, I, me, myself, I'm trying to get God's spread God's word, but mm -hmm. some people do it for the different reasons, mm -hmm. you know, and, so, and, so, and then, especially the younger generation, they grow up, they see this stuff, they they, they want to follow this path, you know, right? mm -hmm. and so, and follow this path of righteousness, because you know, they don't know of it, they don't want to hear about the truth, right. they don't want right. to know about it, Right. and then the older generation, they don't care about it either, mm -hmm. I mean, what's, I they, 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 yeah. you're right, you're right, some of them, if they were correct, I mean, mm -hmm. some of them, mm -hmm. right? They don't care about what to stay with God, focus on God, suffering, and try to get their life together and follow God. They don't care about that. Mm -hmm. They really actually believe that God is 100% real. Okay, because I know God is 100% real, and I can confess that, that Jesus Christ walked the face of the earth, and that's why I try my best and I suffer behind certain things. Mm -hmm. Bible says you have to suffer. Mm -hmm. Things that gave you pleasure in life, you will have to suffer behind. Mm -hmm. And why I suffer behind things. And they actually suffer behind trust, you're getting better and better. You know what? I don't miss that. I don't miss that. I don't yeah, miss that. Yeah, you don't anymore. miss that stuff. Well, okay, why you suffer? I let this stuff go. But you can't, if you can't not suffer, then ask yourself a question. If I'm really following God, ask yourself a question. Okay, evidently, if I'm really child of God, I'm not following God because I can't suffer. I can't stop sinning. I can't stop. Well, evidently, you ain't following God like you're supposed to be. That's it. Amen, yeah, yeah. brother. If God called you home, you know you ain't been following God, obeying His word, following Him. What do you think you're going for? I mean, this is eternity. This is not like a two weeks, uh, two weeks in jail. This is eternity in hell, fire, tormented. This is eternity. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand. But you know what? Oh, I don't hear that. This spread God's word. God called in. Thank right? you, Lord. That's all I can do. I pray for you. That's it.
Before we come, I'm going to say one more prayer, you know, for those out there who want to travel time. Uh, we brought your hand for you, please. Heavenly Father, once again, we want to thank you for your uh, this lesson that we have went through today, dear Lord. We pray, dear Lord, for the words of comfort through your scripture, dear Lord, and help others understand, dear Lord, for who's going out here, who are yes. going through a terrible time, dear Lord, or with Satan on their back and trying to have them do evil, dear Lord. We yes, pray, Lord. dear Lord, this will help them out. And once again, dear Lord, we just thank you for everything. Thank and you. also, Father God, we just pray for those who are suffering once again, who are going through a terrible time right now, who are financially strengthened, going through a lot, dear Lord, who are yes. hurting, Father God, yes. who are lost loved ones in the family. We pray for them, dear Lord, that you really have them, dear Lord, have them come, have them come stay strong no matter what, dear Lord, have them overcome what's yes. going on, Father God, have them yes. stay strong, dear Lord. I plead provide food for their families, dear Lord. Have them stay on their feet, dear Lord. Have them those who lost loved ones, dear yes. Lord, stay strong, dear Lord. Mm -hmm. Have them stay strong with you, no matter what, never give up, dear yes. Lord. Keep them safe, keep them yes. all safe, dear Lord. This yes. terrible fire was going on, Father God. Well, we know, mm -hmm. dear Lord. I guess your word say it rains on just and the unjust things will happen to the good and to the bad, dear Lord. Yes, Lord. Common sense, once again, I think I said one other video. Common sense to tell you if. if, if to tell everyone, if God allows bad things to happen to his son, we should know, Father God, the bad things will happen to yes, us. So, Father God, we just want to thank you for everything, no matter what goes thank on in life. Jesus. Keep us all strong, dear Lord. Have us overcome evil with good. and Never give up, dear Lord, yes. or our eternal souls. Mm -hmm. We thank you for everything. Dear thank Lord. We you, pray Lord. for the viewers out there, for those, dear Lord, who Amen. all true works will really believe and trust you, Father God. And for those who don't, may they come to know you, dear Lord, before it's too late. Father God, we pray and pray to you in your most divine holy name. Thank you for everything. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank y'all for who are here. And thank you once again, Father God, for just having a lot of us to come together to express more of your word. Take care. God bless. <laughs>